Welcome to Ally Edge. So today's video, what we're doing is we're back on Vigilante and I want to show them the car because that way they know what they're talking about. So the project car that we're working on today is Vigilante and we're building a car like this and we're working on the wire form buck for the rear fenders right now. So there was a shape in there that I didn't like and it's not that I screwed it up, I just wasn't happy with it. So I'm gonna cut that out of that, that wire form buck and we're gonna shape another piece in there today. So the pieces right here, I'm gonna cut these out. I was talking to Heidi and I think we're gonna leave this short one in here. That way I have something to weld to. And uh, this piece here and this piece here, I'm gonna pull out of there. I have these just spot welded in so they're really easy to just cut the spot welds and drop them out. And then uh, we're working on changing this piece. Here, I'll go this way so they can see. This piece here is what we're putting in today and, and it's gonna be bent like this. So I wanna get the piece bent and I'm using quarter inch uh, hot rolled steel and it's round rod, it's solid. And this is the wire form buck for the fender. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these pieces cut out so that we can start shaping that piece. And wear safety glasses, don't be a dumbass. So the piece that I'm working on right now, after I was looking at the fender when I was building it, or the fender wire form buck when I was building it, I didn't like the shape that it was right here. It had kind of a flat spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a round spot on that back fender so that it looks like the old Italian style coach built cars. It doesn't need much. And then I have this wheel here on the table. And then that's how I'm gonna shape this, this uh, wire rod. And my knee. And don't freak out if you do too much on this because all you gotta do is flatten it out, you know? Lay it on a table and push down on it. You'll do this a hundred times until you get the shape that you want. Go ahead and shut that camera off a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what I decided to do, I was trying to hang over the top of the fender like this. And since I'm building a left fender and a right fender for the rear of the car, it's, it's a bitch kind of leaning over like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mimic this side. I'm gonna get this one built, weld it in. And then that way I can build this one first. And then I'll build two of these pieces that match so that I know that the left and the right will be the same, same uh, shape. One of the things too is when, you, uh, when you're trying to do the wire form bucks, since that metal is gonna be sitting on top of this, you wanna make sure that, uh, let me grab a little square real quick. You wanna make sure that when you put these pieces of wire or quarter inch round rod in there, that you can tip something towards it like this and you have nothing sticking out from here. So like right there is too much. I wanna push that in a little bit to weld it right there so that it's a nice flush fit because that weld's gonna stick out a little bit. When I'm done and everything's welded solid, I'll grind that off so that when I'm shaping my metal, it'll sit flush on top of there.
And the closer you get these to where they match exactly on these uh, wire form bucks, the better because it's less stuff that you have to fight later. <clears throat> if you read a lot of books or watch specials on uh, these vintage Italian style coach built cars, you'll realize that even like Ferraris and whatever, a lot of times the coach builders, they would build these cars by hand and sometimes there'd be a front fender that was five eighths inch out compared to the other one. So it's nothing, it's, it's normal to see stuff that's not exactly 100% perfect. You're building this by hand, you're not building it with a computer. If the person wanted to build these bucks, you could do these out of wood with a laser cutter or you could do these with a laser plasma cutter or a plasma cutting table and build your bucks in each section, which is called a station. Build each one of your stations and have it set up so it's 100% square, you know, perfect shaped, everything. But who wants to do that? So what I'm doing right now is I'm shaping this piece and then this small piece that Heidi and I decided to put in there, it is gonna work out good. Instead of it going all the way to the end, it's gonna come off of this section here. And then I'm gonna put this in here. So you can kind of see it. That's not gonna work. I should just trim this so you can see it on camera. There you go. Get a side view, babe. So now you can kind of see from the side what that does, and this has to be dropped down like this. Oh right yeah, that looks good. So now that gives you that shape so that this fender is not only like this, perfect, but it comes this way nice and clean with a real nice swoop. And then, then we'll take these pieces that we cut out of here and we'll weld those right in there. You know, one here. And we'll have to f figure out what the angle is and not the angle, but the shapes. But I'm gonna go ahead and build another piece like this. Yeah, that's way better. And then now when I look down this, this all lines up so it's nice and clean looking, you know? That's what's gonna go right there, a little bit angled up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's clean. All right. So I got the piece bent for the left or the right side. I'm building this the, the other one for the other side. And I want to thank Joe Jewett for building these. Uh, these are table dogs. And you take your table dogs and you drop them in there. You could also use uh, bolts for doing the same thing. And one of my other favorite things is you could drop these in there. And these are Allen bolts. And any one of these you could with the bolts, with the threads on the bottom, you can come up from underneath and tighten this to the table so they don't move around if you're forming something. So it's nice to, sh to shape metal around those uh, round Allen head bolts. And then if you have something that's flat, you have that flat spot on these bolts that you can bump them up against when you're forming something. So I have the table dogs here. And uh, one of the ways that I like to form stuff if you uh, use the table dogs, you can actually pull like this and start forming. And you can see it's already starting to you know, form that metal because this stuff bends nice and easy. And it works really well. <clears throat> I gotta go a little bit more right in the middle. And then if you, if you have two of them that are too wide, just go like this, use one. Oh, went too much. OK, 
Can you use those to go the opposite direction? This way? Yeah. Also, why not? Like that, yeah. Go this way. Okay. I didn't know. Mm hmm. Thanks, Joe. Joe's the bomb. Joe's the bomb. They're certainly good enough. <laughs> I'm not going to waste your time dinking around with okay. this. Go ahead and shut out. Okay. Hey, Joe. Oh. <laughs> he hates that. Me and him both. Or would that be him and I both? Or both of us. Both of us. Both of us. Yeah, so I got these twinned out right here. Is that how you say it? Twinned out? I'm, I'm sure that's, that's the a word. word right? it, it is now. You remember which way we had them though? Was it like this? Middle to the edge on the inside. Yeah, I think that's right. The mm -hmm. flat end is more. I on need this. to uh, get a measurement here though and get these mm -hmm. marked. So. One, two, three, block. So the one, two, three block comes up two inches and hits right there. Come over here, do the same thing. Bump it to there. These things are lifesavers right here. Use those for everything. So if it's there, and it's here. What are we looking at right there, at that angle? Tip it towards the center. Towards the center. Up like or this. down, dumbass. Like this. I don't have safety glasses, so I guess. So the curve goes up a little tiny bit. I'm liking that. Yeah, that looks good right there. Yep. You probably can't see it. Can you weld it. it for me now? <laughs> sure. Just say they probably can't see it on camera, but it was just the lightest angle tippy thing. You don't thingy. have to show me welding this crap in there. No, I'll okay. Buzz them in there, and if you want to, it don't matter. Right there, what I was doing was I was jigging my jig. <laughs> <laughs> I made little jigs here to hold these fenders out to hold the jig or the wire form buck so that it doesn't, it quits moving around on us. We have this piece here welded in and off camera so I'm not just doing the same crap. I'm gonna weld this other one in real quick and then, uh, then I'll show you guys a trick with some tape, some paper and uh, some sticky paper, whatever. We'll go from there. Does that look all right? Mm -hmm. so, pretty good. so I got these two pieces welded in now and that gives you the shape, the back part of the fenders, the fat part. Gotcha. <gasps> and right here I have a... Uh, what is this stuff called? Uh, not butcher paper, but... Freezer uh, paper? Freezer paper or it's just auto body taping paper is what it is. And if you want to get a shape, I'm just going to do this quick down and dirty so you guys can see what I'm doing. You might want to be on that side. Okay. Just so you can see. If you wanted to get a quick shape of what your fan is looking like, you can run through and take this stuff up and use paper. Or the other thing you can do is take tape and start getting your shape like this. Kind of a half-ass mock-up of your fender so you can get some shape. But they do make, uh, 3M makes a plastic sticky stuff that you use for like doing flames and whatever. And you can do the same thing. And I highly recommend doing that after you have 
a bunch of your uh, stations finished so that you can get that shape on those panels. So when you go to shape your metal, you can take that shape, lay it on the metal, cut it out, and then form it to put it on the uh, wire form buck. We're gonna go ahead and cut this video short here. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. And on the next video, I think what we're gonna be doing is putting in the, uh, the little cross braces. And as we get the cross braces done, uh, the more will be done on the fender so we can start doing some metal shaping, uh, you know, maybe the video after that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this little series. We're gonna try to load one, what, every Sunday? Something like that. So every Sunday night or Sunday morning, something like that, we'll figure it out. And we're gonna do this series on building uh, Vigilante. Appreciate you guys watching. Later.